Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I wanted to give you a very short and easy tutorial on low bitrate broadcasting. But I want to start off with something a little simple. You see the big numbers on the right? If you are broadcasting with anything or any upload speed, upload speed, not download speed, make sure you don't get the two confused. If you are trying to broadcast with anything less than this, then all I'm going to tell you is that it is not worth it and that you should either upgrade your internet if you really want to get into broadcasting or stick to doing something like maybe YouTube videos or something. I know I'm being a little blunt on this, but if you have anything lower than this, it is not worth it to be able to broadcast because the quality, the bitrate you're going to be able to put out is going to be so low that you will just it'll just be a terrible picture and nobody can watch pretty much all right so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this if you have anything similar to this or higher what i want to be able to talk to you about now is that if you have a low uh low upload speed uh internet connection say you have something like uh nowadays like 1.5 megabyte upload or 2.0 megabyte upload is, you know, I'd say for some DSLs or some basic cable connections, depending on where you live in the world, is pretty much a norm. Uh, that, that isn't too bad. If you're on anything like Spectrum Internet, you have anywhere between a 10 to 12 megabyte upload, which is actually really good. But your bit, your bit rate matters depending on your upload speed, not your download speed. So with that being said, Whenever you set your video bitrate on OBS Studio, you want it to be set to about 75% of your total upload speed. It's a simple calculation. Take any calculator and set, say, say do 0 0.70 times 0.75. And that'll give you the bitrate you want to be able to broadcast with. So that way you can play games online and be able to broadcast them without killing your connection. For those that are on really low, I mean like the lowest minimum of the low, like 0 0.70. For a while, I used to broadcast with a 0 0.72, but it would fluctuate over time. You you might even have the exact same issue with a 0 0.70. but what I would do is I would broadcast at a 500 bit rate back in the day. Now this is way back in like 2010, 2011, 2012, before I even had a connection like I do nowadays. But when I did this, let me see, there we go. When I did this, uh, I almost red barred in every Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 game I ever played. People couldn't kill me because I was like stutter stopping all over the place. It was funny to watch me on a, on a spectate when somebody killed me because it was, it was like I was stopping, going, stopping, going, and it was really, really bad, but it was hilarious to watch on the internet. But if you want to be able to play your games competitively with no lag <clears throat> and to be able to uh, broadcast at the same time, but you have a really low connection, like I said, use about 75% of your current internet speed. So say 1.5, uh, megabytes basically comes out to 1500 bit rate. So let's do 1.5 times 0.75. And that would be the bit rate you want to be able to broadcast at to, without killing your connection. So 1125 to be able to broadcast. So you have a certain uh, quality you can cast at and not kill your connection. Now here's the thing. If you broadcast at 500 bit rate, I would recommend if you did a downscale of that, that you would set that to like 640 by 360 because if you set it any higher than that, then the video is going to be pretty much unwatchable at that bit rate. If you have a bit rate of about 800, I would recommend setting it to something like a 960 by 540. If you have anything like, say, well, I'd say about 800 to 1200, I would keep it about there at 960 by 540. Once you get up near 1500 or 2000, then I would start switching it up to 720p, but not at 60. I would keep it at 30 frames per second because if you try to run, 
if you try to run 60 frames per second at such a low bitrate, the video will pretty much be unwatchable for anybody that wants to watch. So 1500 to 2000, you should be okay. Um, normally, back in the day, I would usually do 2500 bitrate at 720p 30 because it would look pretty awesome. But nowadays, the Twitch limit allows you to be able to go all the way up to 6000 bitrate, which everybody does 720p 60 or 1080p 60 which requires special hardware, maybe even a separate computer to be able to run all that, and it can be kind of a mess. But for those that want to be able to broadcast with a low bit rate and a low, you know, say you want to be able to put out the best quality you can, but you just can't. You just don't have the internet speed for it. This is the best way to do it. Now, if you go over into advanced mode on output settings for OBS Studio, Here's the easiest way you can set this up. CBR, obviously, because that's what Twitch recommends, say you can only do 500 bit rate, 500, but say you have a really, really good, really fast computer. And say you're broadcasting uh, a console game or some something you have on a capture card. You could set it to medium, slow, slower, depending on your processor to see if it can handle it. Apply and then start your streaming. Now, if you start to see issues to where your CPU is going too high and you get it's you get an, um, an error message over here or a warning that says dropping encoded frames or something like that, then your X264 CPU preset is set to way too low and you have to set it higher, higher to where your processor will not overload. Now, say if you're broadcasting games on the PC and you want to be able to play them and broadcast on the same PC, well, then you really, really have to jumble around with this if you are on a, um, you know, if you're on a low bitrate setup. So let's say 640 by 360, 500 bitrate, um, 30 frames per second. You're scaling it, so you want to kick it down to Lanxos, which really makes a big difference in quality, actual sharpness. And then say you have an i7 6700K like I do, I could probably do 500 bit rate, 30 frames per second on medium preset. It'll use maybe 10, 15% of my processor to be able to broadcast. And then the rest of it is dedicated to the game I'm playing. And then I play. But make sure you use game capture instead of display capture. Do not use that, it's terrible. <laughs> display capture is horrible, it will kill your frames. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions on what you should use, remember, if you want to calculate it out for yourself, just set it to about 75% of your total internet upload speed, set it in a calculator, and then you're pretty much good to go. That way you don't have to ask me at all about the bit rate and the quality that you want to be able to use. But if you want to be able to find out if your hardware is good enough for what you're wanting to do, say you're running on a laptop or you're running on hardware that can only handle so much, you're going to have to play with your settings here. Play with your CPU usage preset until you find the right sweet spot for you. That's going to work fine. Most people who are broadcasting at 720p, 60 frames per second on the same computer they're broadcasting on are going to use very fast. But it's for those that are low bitrate broadcasting or low quality broadcasting, you want to be able to get this as far down as you can without killing your computer. There are some people who can even get down into the slower category. And it makes the quality look better. The, the lower the setting, the better the quality will look, but also the more processing power it's going to use. But the higher the setting, the less processing power it's going to use, but also the lower the quality is. So... There you go. This is about the best you can do with low bitrate broadcasting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I answered any questions or helped you guys out at all. You guys have a great day.